Remember when I said that the mo motion capture was absolutely insane? Well, you haven't seen anything until this scene. Dennis? What are you doing here? Was a goner for sure. <laughs> Long time no see, Alyssa. I haven't seen you since we were in primary school together. It must be three years. What do you think you're doing entering a lady's residence through a window? I have to give you something. Ah, here it is. It's the key to my grandfather's room. Mother always has this key with her. What are you doing with it? You saw her? When? And where? Calm down, calm down. It was yesterday morning and your mother drove by in her car. <laughs> and she said you might come back from boarding school and ask me to hand that key to you if she wasn't back in time. She must have known I'd disobey her and come back here. She must have gone up to meet me. We just missed each other. Hey, Alyssa, you've really changed since I last saw you. I'm going to go and check my grandfather's room. Hey! Well, it looks like you've grown up too, Dennis. Oh, come on. That was then and this is now. Wait a minute, would you? Her, her grandfather's name is Dick. Wait. No, let's go down here first. You never get to explore this place. Never get to explore this place. And it's like, why? Why make this huge, creepy mansion and not let us explore it? Like, we don't ever face a stalker in here. All these books, what was he studying? You could probably tell by the context of the books. Grandfather. All these old books. See, there was a scribbled note. The keys to the mystery of time lie behind you. What could that mean? There are some old books to one side. Book of Entities 1. Entities have existed in the human realm since Roman days. That's very vague. These beings have been known to possess innocent humans, imbuing them with utter ruthlessness and cruelty, and often driving the possessed to vicious acts of murder. In such cases, executing the murderers does not break the circle of evil. The possessed is resurrected to continue its bloodthirsty mission. Those who are thus controlled by entities are known as subordinates. When a subordinate kills a human, they take nourishment from the victim's soul and their power grows. Subordinates may acquire an infinite amount of power in this manner. It follows, then, that subordinates are sustained by human misery and suffering. Only certain humans are equipped to fight entities and their subordinates. The Rooters, Rooters who are always young women in their teens, have been battling against these shadowy enemies for hundreds of years. Their war is likely to continue for many centuries to come. Entities? Rooters? Spelled differently in the book. Teenage girls who stand against the forces of darkness. Eatities? Did you find anything in there, Alyssa? What's that? Entity? What's an entity? In the rude It says right there in the book. So it wasn't a dream. I'm going to look for my mother. You want to look for your mother? But she was in a car, remember? She could be anywhere by now. She's nearby. I can tell. What do you mean? It doesn't matter. Just go home. Let me help you. Just the two of us. It'll be like the old days. That was a long time ago. Well, I might as well help you. There's, there's nothing to do at home. I'm alone in the house until my sister comes back anyway. You mean Linda? Isn't she travelling? Yeah. She's working as a nurse at a refugee camp in Africa. In her last letter, she said she won't be back for at least another six months, so I'm free to babysit, walk dogs, look for missing mothers. Okay. You can check upstairs while I look downstairs. Yes, boss. Hey... 
Well, one more thing. Isn't it your birthday tomorrow? Huh? My birthday? See, even after all this time, I still remember. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Now check upstairs, will you? Yeah, can count on me, partner. It's like one person wanted to make a magical girl game and the other one wanted to make a horror game that was really violent. Scribble note, the keys to the mystery of time left behind you. So behind us? Nope, not there. You mean behind us uh, over here? Nope, not there. Uh, they actually mean behind this picture, which is strange because... Wait, I think I got it. Maybe it means like he wrote it to himself. There was something hidden behind the picture frame and so he put it, he's like, they're behind you. In case you forget. I guess because it's a picture of him. I don't know. I wonder which person uh, Kinji Fukasaku was, the one who wanted to make a horror game or the one who wanted to make a magical girl game. Or if he was just like, let's do both and be legends. Another part of the mansion you never get to explore. Like, why? So... A dead body in here of all places. One of the lodgers? Phew, what a stink. How do you know it was one of the lodgers? And I don't know how they expect us expect you to know this, but you're supposed to give them some lavender water. Like, how on earth was I supposed to know that? Up until then, lavender water was just used on myself. You want to mention to Dennis, you know, the dead body in the bathroom? Hey, don't go in the bathroom, dude. There's a dead body in there. The old door has been boarded up. I can't remember this door ever having been opened. Three-way mirror has been folded up. <gasps> the number three again! Speaking of the number three, three o'clock. Why would you do that? Winding keys might just work on this clock. Why bother giving us a secret room? We have half the mansion here that we haven't explored. Portal squares. They're not squares at all. Drawing the portal square as instructed is only the beginning. Remember, the portal square must be thoroughly purified with holy water until it has been sufficiently charged with energy for full effect. Only when the square is infused with light may the practitioner expect any groundbreaking results.
there is a crumpled up newspaper article in the corner. Family tragedy, mother and son in acid bath, shocker. 23, November 1963, Crawley, West Sussex. Two decomposed corpses were found in a house in Russell Street on Tuesday. The victims were Dorothy Rand, 65, and her toymaker son, Albert Rand, 34. They were found in a drum filled with acid in the garage adjoining their house. The suspect is believed to escape, to have escaped with a sum of money after the grisly crime. Albert Rand lived together with his mother, a widow who is certified blind and required assistance in everyday tasks. Miss, Mr. Rand's eyes had been gouged out prior to his murder, and police profilers are on the trail of the man who committed such a monstrous crime. Police are seeking the whereabouts of a young man who had been staying with the Rands a few days before the murder. Claiming to be a distant relative of Mrs. Rand, he arrived suddenly in the area and has since disappeared. I don't know if the colors of the uh, of these things actually mean anything. Oh, I can hardly bear to look. There's a heart-shaped pendant in its hand. Okay, so where we find that one is actually not. We put the teddy bear here. There's two of them. The inside of the car is scorched and blackened. A crushed boot box is in a crushed box in the boot. Was it a present being delivered? V277FPD. I'm sure that's significant. Get ready to go to hell. Okay. Anyone could hear her with all her erratic breathing. What's that? What's going on? Mother, where have you got to? Say something. Mother. Unseen force is holding it closed. <laughs> that 
that thing is in the kitchen. The kitchen is locked. Albert's Diary. 13 November. Percy from the bakery gave me the name of the good optometrist in London. It's been seven years now since Mum lost her sight, and though she tries to appear cheerful, it's difficult to watch her grow old. Perhaps the doctor can do something to help her. It will be expensive. I wonder if my savings will be enough. 16 November. Yesterday, a relative of ours named John High came asking if he could stay with us. He was very cordial, but I can't help thinking there is something calculated about him. I say as much to my mother, who scolded me for judging a book by its cover. I suppose she's right. Blood is thicker than water, as they say. Did you know that the phrase, blood is thicker than water, um, is a mistranslation of the phrase, a phrase that goes like, the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water in the womb, which has the exact opposite meaning? Anyway. 21st November. I have been hearing strange noises late at night for the last three days or so. I hear that a team of burglars have been striking homes in the area. I must remember to lock all the doors and windows at night. It looks like a toolbox. It's locked and will not open. The vase holds a moonflower. Uh, yeah, turn it towards the moon. Clock Tower 3 puzzles, everybody. Oh, I was wrong. Not every, uh... <laughs> Not every place has the, uh... The same bedspread. Heart pendant. <laughs> they had fire extinguishers back then? Back then? It's only like the 1960s. long ago. Of course they had fire extinguishers. <laughs> News reporter's memo. Found very important clue to Rand's murder. We'll go back to house to investigate and gather info. Got a feeling about this. It will be the biggest scoop in Fleet Street. Fleet Street, you mean the, 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 the place where Sweeney Todd had his barber shop? A newspaper clipping is sandwiched between the pages of the notepad. Serial killer high meets grisly end. 11 May 1962, West Sussex, John High, the serial killer on the run since early last year, has been found dead at a metal plating works. High is held responsible for the cold-blooded murder of several pensioners, whom he robbed before placing the bodies in a container of sulfuric acid, thus disposing of the evidence. I mean, not really. The acid used in the crime was stolen, leading the police to place factories in the area with stocks of sulfuric acid under surveillance. The suspect appeared at a plating factory in Horsham, and a struggle ensued. High lost his balance and fell from a platform into a vat of acid, ironically meaning the same end as victims. Of course, it looks like it's been burnt by something. Washing is piled up in sick. Whoa! Jeez.
think that's the only time her low poly model is used in the game. Dick's desk key. Dick. It's nighttime now. Of entities too. In order to defeat a subordinate, the murdered soul, who, which acts as its energy source, must be healed. To instigate the healing process, a sentimental item belonging to that person must be obtained. If and when this item has been found, the rooter power is boosted temporarily. The rooter portal square appears, and within is found the secret weapon necessary to vanquish the subordinate. There is still something in there. Take the toast that's next to the toaster and put it in the toaster. Grandfather's writing? 2nd February 1978. The Ruder who battle the entities are scattered all over Europe. So Ruder is plural? We, the Hamiltons are also of Ruder stock. Of this lineage I am proud. The Ruder blood is passed down to females. My wife Francesca was a Ruder. In my naive youth, I did not believe any of it. I denied the presence of entities. Oh, so it's not plural. I to believe that it was all just an old wives' tale. But then I found the Book of Entities, and Nancy began to sharpen her ruder powers. I finally opened my eyes to the truth and began my research into the subject. Thirteen August, nineteen eighty-four. Ruder powers first appear in a young woman's early teens and peak at age 15. The powers then gradually diminish, usually disappearing entirely by the age of 20. For generations, the women of the Hamilton clan have spent their teens fighting against subordinates for the Ruder cause, before marrying in their 20s. Always in their 20s. The next generation of Ruders. Nancy is already 18. Her ruder powers are dwindling rapidly, and it is almost time for her to pass the job on to the next female. We Hamiltons think of our ruder blood as something of which to be proud, as well as a responsibility that must be taken very seriously. I am sad to give my beloved Nancy to another man, but it must be done. I will watch her marry with a broken heart. 25th April 1988. Another Ruder has been born to the Hamilton household, my first grandchild. 
I chose for her the name Alyssa. After the protagonist from Clock Tower 2. Perhaps even a little strong willed, yet appears somehow wise beyond her years. I pray she will grow strong and healthy and will fulfill her obligation as a noble ruler. A ruder family. So, I am a ruder. It's in my blood. Everything is mo-capped, even the chair, and the beds, and the pillows. Her skirt. Leave it to me, Grandpa. I have the same ruder strain in my blood as my mother. I can save Dorothy and Albert. Then, and only then, will I be able to leave this nightmare and see my mum again. I'm sure that's the way, isn't it? Grandfather, where have you gone? Is there anything else in that room? Grandfather, mummy, look at these old photos. 